Once you sign up for Radio Guest List, every day you will get an email just like the one that I have opened. This video is brought to you by Abby Pies Academy. So let's go through it and let's see what this email has to offer us. So they have some upsells that like try a premium email service, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're not interested in that so much. We scroll down a little to this area where the actual shows are, right? And we have one, two, three, four shows in this email that are looking for guests. Okay, let's go through them. And I'll go through them. I don't know what your business is because I don't know you maybe, but um, although we can fix that, you can always email me with questions about your specific business and your specific pitch and post discussions in the course and um, send me private messages with questions. I always welcome that and I help everybody. But let's, for example, you know who I am sort of, I'm like, you know, I, I help people with business and marketing. So let's take a look at this from my perspective. If I'm reading this, um, first of all, this is a featured publicist, right? This is a person who's paying radio guest list to be here. Uh, they're basically advertising, um, but we're not doing that. So we scroll. Mission date night calling romance authors, right? So if you're a romance author, this radio show is looking for you. Okay. I'm not a romance author. I skip. There may be some way that I can, if I really wanted to, I could kind of try to um, appear in the show because I have written a few books and, but they're on business and marketing. And so maybe I can offer a perspective, like even though I don't write about romance, I can offer perspective on how new authors might um, promote their books in an interesting way, okay? Or how they can become a bestseller or something like that, right? So maybe I can input some of that and maybe they, the people here might be interested. We may come back here. Um, next, like a boss radio seeks experts for interviews. Shows, topics re range from business and entrepreneurship to dating. Well, this sounds much closer to than what I do, right? I actually have business and entrepreneurship courses, mobile apps, books. This is great for me. Um, so let's kind of take a closer look. So when you take a closer look, you basically click on the headline and it's going to load in a second and it explains to you what the show is all about. And I'm going to make this a little bigger so that you can see and read at the same time with me. What I'm looking for is, you know, there's a quick show description. We already sort of had that. We don't really, you know, certainly you need um, the person to contact. It's really good because their name is Devon. We'll use that as to say, hey, how are you, Devon? Um, we actually know his full name here, Devil Berkani. Then um, what we want to do is see how much traffic this show has, right? This show, see, it says, we are a new podcast building up episodes for the launch. So they have not even launched. We don't even, so for me, that's like a deal breaker. I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but that's a, that's a bad thing, right? I want to be on shows that have a big audience and like are growing. I've been, I, I've been on shows where like I've been interviewed for shows that they're about to launch. And then sometimes even what happens is like the person might change their mind and not even start the show at all, right? They might record a few episodes and then realize, oh, this is harder than I thought, or it's not what I thought it would be like, and they quit for whatever reason, right? So you just wasted your time. So this would be a reason for me not to email them. It's too small of a show, okay? Um, so I would pass up this opportunity, and I would recommend that you also strongly consider, you know, case by case, but generally shows that haven't started, they're not the highest quality shows and you don't know what kind of traffic they're going to get you. One thing you could do is you can see they have a website. You could get a link from this website, which might help your Google SEO. So you can still do some work there. And plus this person hasn't started. So probably it's hard for them to book guests. And for that reason, 
you might, uh, if you want to take a risk, you'll get a link from there. Show notes when the show is live, when they launch. You're not going to get a lot. Of, you're not going to get a lot of traffic, but you're going to get um, a link for your SEO and maybe a little bit of traffic. So it's not all bad because you are getting the SEO benefit. Okay. Next, uh, what I would do is really create a pitch if you wanted to email this person, right? And in the next lecture, I'm going to talk about pitching. Pitching is really important and probably before pitching we should get into a little bit about um, what makes a good pitch, right? What they're looking for because they get a lot of pitches usually and so you want to stand out. You don't want to be boring. So in the next lectures we're going to talk about how to stand out, how to write a great pitch, how to be exciting and how to because you, they're thinking what's going to be interesting for my audience, right? And so when you approach them you, you have to get them not to accept you to be on their show, but to want you to be on their show. See? And the way you get them to want you to be on their show is by knowing and understanding what they want and what's best for their audience and, and bringing that like 10 times, right? And we'll talk about exactly how to position your pitch to appear that way and to make them want you. But for now, this is it. Uh, I showed you how I sort of go through the um, email that I get, how it looks like. It's, it's admittedly poorly designed. I wish these emails were better designed, but basically they do send you three different sort of um, items per email or four sometimes to, to choose from who to pitch, right? Um, and by the way, let's take a look at the last item, um, WWRNDB La Monica, we turn down a seeking exciting expert, doesn't say experts in what, experts in relationship fashion books well I can do that because I got books society religion current events and exciting the listeners to one another and if it's exciting for listeners right so you can pitch anything that's exciting almost right and this is a great thing here because we're gonna talk about how to make anything into something exciting or how to squeeze excitement and unique perspectives and angles out of maybe something bland or something that doesn't seem particularly exciting. And that's all going to happen in the following lectures. So go ahead and get to the next lectures, and we'll talk about all of that there.